We're living in a time now where parents can't even talk to young people. Their own child you can't even talk to. Because the enemy has got into you all. And you think that you're so big. And you think you know everything. You don't know everything. I thought I knew everything. I don't I didn't know it. And I still don't know. I remember when I just came in this country. I joined again. Back in the late 80s. And I said, alright, I want to make money. Because I used to hear a story, when you come to America, you're coming to make money. Yes. I didn't have no God in my mind. And I, and I saw a group of guys that was on my block, and we started talking. And we formed again. And I remember one night, we sat up on the, the ledge, on the porch. And we said, we're going to buy crack, because this was when crack was high. Yes. Yes. We said, we're going to buy crack. But my mom kept on praying. Yes. Every Sunday, my mom called me. Yes. You ain't going to church. You better go to church. And I know if I didn't go, I'm going to get a whipping. Yes. Some now 13, 14 year old, you can't even touch them. Yes. I was 15, 16, and my mom would jump up on me. Yes. Yes. I, yes. 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 I remember one time I married. I got married when I was 19, and when I came home one time to visit my mom. I'm sitting on the dining room table and she's talking something and I didn't know I suck my teeth. Mom! I'm sure she was coming across the table. Oh. It was like Matrix. It was so emotional coming that I couldn't stop it. I was like... Yeah. 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 And my mom is big. And she moved like lightning. Whoa! What you doing? Is it okay to back? When I get another one. Yes. Sorry, man. Yes. Married man. Yes. Come on. Yes. I respect my mother. Yes. I respect my father until he died. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. As big as I am. Yes. Even right now, my mother called me and said, I want this. Yes. Yes. If I can get up, I'm going to do it. I said, All right, all right, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. Yes. I respect my mother still. Yes. Yes. So we, we were on the porch. I want to say we're going to sell drugs. And we bought the crack them Saturday morning. And we cut up the crack and we buy the little vials them and we fill up the vials. We had hundreds of them. And we know we can sell this by the end of the week and make some serious money. And the Sunday, I wasn't going to go to church. My mom called and said, Boy, go to church. Oh, mommy, <coughs> we don't feel good. I know what type of sickness come from my head, I hurt my back, I hurt me. She said, all right, let me come home my ear so you don't go to church. Right. So I picked up myself and went to church. I didn't have, I don't want church to be over. No church on my mind. And I went there and all I heard was altar call. No one asked me nothing else about the service. I heard altar call. And we had this little missionary. God bless her soul, she died and God. And she would come and she said, come on, brother, come on. Come and we carry it to the altar. Just softly. And I can't say no. And when I went to the altar, and when I heard the pastor said, Who wants to be saved? I said, Not me. <laughs> I'm looking at my hand, I'm like, What are your hand doing? Get down! You know, in Paul said, I'm a prisoner. Yes. This is some, some of you choose to be saved. God arrest me. Yes, I know I'm saved. Yes, I know I'm taught. Yes, I know God anoint me. Come on, man. you must know you see him. You should be guessing you see him. You must have some sign. You must have some vision. You say, I know I'm seeing. Yeah. Even coming to church, I said, I see him again. That even one vision. No confirmation. So they brought us down in the baptism room to change. And all me and look, I look for a way of escaping you know. up. I started in the run. That way I'm going to go up the stairs and run straight out. Could I move? I was frozen. The only thing could I move was my mouth. And this other brother was there. And I said to the other brother, go on first. Because I'm still trying to figure out how to escape. And when I went, I got baptized and went. I went down in that water and I came up. I felt something different. Hallelujah! 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 I went to church one night. My heart wasn't right. But the Holy Ghost got a hold on me. I go shut up. Hallelujah! I don't know. I wish I had somebody to let you God thanks. I wish I had somebody that know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah! Shut up! Shut up, my son. I am a shadow. Hallelujah!
some people went on a sin, I'll come back up a sinner. You just get wet, but when I went down and came back up, good God from heaven, I felt the glory. I felt the glory of God. And I came back up when I went home. I called my boys and I said, Look, I can't go with you. I got saved. I got baptized. Something happened. I didn't know what happened. I said, Something happened. My desire. You know when somebody left on crack and said we have to do, we have to give you a 10-step program to get off and smoke in our crack. No, one step with God. One step. One baptize. One Holy Ghost. And the tears of sin will come out of you. No 10-step program. One touch. All I need is one touch from heaven. Hallelujah. I know if he touched me now, my situation, does somebody need a touch? Does somebody need a touch? Come on, praise me if you need something. You need something to work up for your praise. Say, God, give me a touch. Give me a touch, Lord. Give me a touch. I need a touch. Hallelujah. You get a touch, you walk out of that house you've been living with that man with. When you get a touch, you get from behind that room bar. You don't go back to the one touch. Just a touch. Just a touch, I need. Hallelujah. Take the taste of sin out of you. Hallelujah. Let me walk right. Let me talk right. Let me sing right. Let me live right. One touch. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I am a shot. So I call my boys. I said, look man, I got a touch. I don't feel to do that no more. They laugh at me. They start reminding me now how much money I'm giving up. And that time, I wanted a lot of girls. No man, some preacher comes start up and act like them innocent. Like they never did sin. Like they never did have some desire. Let them know I'm in the know say, God change you. I had plans. I wanted a lot of girls. Hallelujah. I'm in no how forget if I say if I get some money. I'm going to get a car, and I get a nice car, and I know that I can start something. So he come now and remind me. He said, look man, how much money we're making? How much money you're giving up? No girls you can have? I said, look man, I got a touch. Oh, I got a touch. God changed my life. And look, that was just a touch that wasn't even filled with the Holy Ghost yet. And when he came and then I said, look, man, the world. he gave me two weeks. That's an hour, man. Two weeks, I'll come back. I'll see you in two weeks. About a month went by, he came with a brand new car. He drove that car so hard, a pure smoke coming on the block. I'm telling you, trying to show off on you. And when he came in, two girls was in the car. He said, I got one for you and one for me. I said, no, thank you. He went and bought a, a house. And he went and sold drugs in the wrong neighborhood. Oh, and one day he's sitting on his step. And this guy walked up to him and said, Who named such and such? He said, Me. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Wow, yeah. kill him. Yeah. That's one. Yes. The other one bought bikes. He loved bikes. One day he was riding on Utica. And that time it was Dalavan, no more, 225. At that time it was Dalavan. And the Dalavan licked him. Didn't even lick him off the bike, Ella Jackson. He steal on the bike and roast. Jesus. Good God. Oh, God. The third one, no. Him in and out of jail, like jail I'm house. One minute he in, one minute he out. Look what the Lord did. Look what the Lord did when he washed me. Look what he did when he washed me. Look when God make a shift in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He give me a beautiful wife. Give me a nice family. Give me a house. Give me the car of my dream. All you got to do is just to serve God. Serve him. And everything is a CG first. The kingdom of heaven. And his righteousness. And all these things. Serve him. May the devil lie to you. Young people, you can serve God good. Hallelujah. Live right. God will keep you. Yes. What a God. Yes. Yes. God. You know it's time, man, if you kill 
on me. One time this guy draw out a German logo on me. I couldn't shoot it. God freeze your hand. Come on, man. I'm talking about it. God call you. I went to school one time and there was rivalry. And a guy pulled out a machete out of pants. He chopped me up. And when I was about to turn back into the train, the train locked. Yeah. And I start trembling and I said, God, what am I going to do now? I heard, I heard the Spirit say, forward still. Yeah. Walk forward. Yeah. I start walk towards him. Yeah. I am Oshanda. Yeah. When your enemy come up in your face, yeah. I don't know you feel it. Walk up in him. Yeah. Let them know that I'm afraid of you. Yeah. Walk up in him. Machete step back. I said, Go on. <laughs> and I walk up a little more. Them down there are some guys. I beat up the guy. When they walk, when they look at me, they move. I kept on walking. Mm. Kept on walking. I walked through night, gun, machete, and not one touched me. Yeah. I know who you call me. Yeah. I know I'm saved. Pastor, husband come over to me and said, Look, you have preached hard enough. They're gonna get you. I said, Look, man, just pray for me because God have my back. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I give life for you. I take life. That's what your God said. I'll take life for you. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You must know who you are and wake up. Church, wake up and know who you serve. You serve the God that created the heaven and the earth. The God that look at you and say that you must exist. And no devil could kill you. Your mother, no, your mother couldn't even abort you. You know you had to be here. You know you had to be here. No man could have stopped you. It was destined or ordained for you to be here right now. All of it. I don't care what sickness came and it couldn't take you out. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No devil. Yeah. No witch could have won all me up on you. Yeah. I kill you. Yeah. Every time the other man said, I spirit the spirit to myself, no, I can't touch the one. Yeah. Yeah. I go back and bring to myself, I want to cover. I want to wash. I want to seal. I saw angels round him. He said, go back again. When he go back and say, look, man, I tell you, you put me in a trouble. I go home and I smell something when I build under my house. I'm going to walk up and I open my door and say, come out. Some of you in your house and can't even sleep. You want to get harsh, you want to up on the door. You get, you get dry corn. But now you know me. You throw salt on each other. All this foolishness. Every power must be subject to the higher power. Jesus Christ. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Take down your heart shoe. Take down your tricon. Sweep up the salt and clean up the place. Put in your hand garlic. All this foolishness. And because you don't believe in God. I'm going to talk about church people that do this. Because I know the foolishness that's going here. 
And my prayer was that the, I, I, the church needs to get back on fire. The church has got too. I'm seeing all this smoke. I want to say fire. When the Holy Ghost fire was blazing. People didn't have no time to talk about people. When fire hot, you don't have no time to have somebody in your heart. Because the Holy Ghost is hot. It's burning, it's burning, it's burning. It's burning. So, hallelujah, when the Holy Ghost turning in your belly, Paco Shanda, all you want to do is just to go home and talk about the service. All you want to do is just to talk about it. So the fire hot. I can't wait to go back night time because it was hot. No, because they're cold. You are big to come back Sunday night. Sunday night service, you can count by your hand. How much people come back? And some people don't have Sunday night service. They call it family night. Let's tell me, say, six days out of the week, I didn't have time to spend with my family. And one day, you know, God asked if we give him the whole day. Then I can talk about, oh, it's family night. What about Saturday night? What happened on Friday night? Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, yes. Monday. What happened to all of those nights? Yes. Why? No, man, we're asleep. We need to wake, wake up. up. The enemy has put a sleep on us. Yes. And start rock we. Yes. He start rock you. Yes. Till you get hot. Yes. And you just cool and sit on that church. So I came to church Sunday night. And I start celebrating them. You need to be on fire back again. Jesus. And while I was telling him, God poured on an anointing upon Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, from him. I haven't felt that in a long time. Oh, it was anointing that when you want to stop, you can't stop. Yes. Oh, yeah, but shut up. And it's like a woman that is pregnant. Oh, and when she ran away, she crowned. I have five kids, so we know what I talk about. Hey. When she crowned, tell her to stop. Yes, sir. The baby coming. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. And when you look at the head crown, tell her to suck it back in. Yes, we had one daughter. She wanted to come so fast. The doctor couldn't even put on his suit. She was coming out, so the doctor put on some gloves and push her back in. We get dressed. She said, I'm coming out. Yes. By the time you put on the gloves, you're going to catch her. You must be on fire. Yes. You must be burning with the anointing. Yes. You must, when you come to church, you can feel the Holy Ghost down in your belly. You saw I feel God stretching out yes. in me. I felt the anointing so strong, I didn't even know how I got how I drove home. Thank you, thank you, Lord. When I got home, the Bible, the Holy Ghost said, anoint your house, anoint your family. Yes. Got you in there, went yes. to my house. Yes. I am on Shanda. Oh, yes. The Holy Ghost said, don't go watch no TV. Yes. Just drink some water or some tea and go in there. Amen. I need to talk to you. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to wake you up with this. Yes. Yes. I went to bed and I had a vision. I was traveling in a spaceship with an angel. Yes. 